Hello, everybody. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Uh, as you can see, there's a catalog picture of the Brown and Sharp 672. Uh, this is an item that uh, Tom Lipton had showed on his channel, and uh, I was interested in uh, actually getting one or trying to convert standard adjustable parallels. And then one day in the mail, as you can see this photo, um, Tom had actually picked up a set and sent it to me as a gift. And uh, as you can see in the photo, it's missing one of the gauges, the small A. And uh, this video is about building that uh, piece so that the set's complete. I hope you enjoy this video. It's uh, going to be a piece together with uh, some photos and some uh, video. Well, here's the uh, the part that I'm uh, looking to copy, and you can see the radius on top. This is uh, basically two inches long, and uh, 220 thousandths on this side, and about 62 thousandths on the other side. So I've got this angle plate here that. Uh, it's a magnetic transfer. It was a gift from Tom. Thank you very much, Tom. And I've been working, I've got it set up so that the angle plate is right on the, um, right on the angle. Should have set this up before. So we're just uh, eight tenths there, about eight, and up here, uh, eleven, uh, almost ten. So about two tenths off over two inches. Uh, I think I'll live with that. As I think I've discussed in this video earlier, I've already ground the end of this one, this piece, to match this guy here. So, with that said, I need to now cut my piece, my part, at this four and a half degrees. So, this uh, this was a um, parallel that I sacrificed for this, and it's about a it's over uh, over Rockwell 50. It, I can't bandsaw it. I tried I tried a little little shot right there, might show up on the uh, camera, where it just rubbed it and said uh uh. So I've got to I've got to cut this off and then finish that on the grinder. So my plan is to rough this piece out, and then the Put it in the two inch vise on the, uh, too much stuff here, two inch vise will sit onto here, this guy will be in there and we'll grind the, uh, we'll grind the uh, other side. I think that's the way I'm going to do it uh, and we'll, uh, we'll see how we do as we set it up here. Uh, 
I'm over here at the surface grinder and basically this piece in my hand I've got it set up on a transfer block to cut that off using a cutoff wheel. It's too hard for me to, the material's too hard to band saw it, so I'm going to have to grind it off. So I set it up on top of a parallel. Um, I'm looking to stay about five thousandths off of the parallel at the end of this, but um, if I do happen to touch my parallel, making the cutoff there, that's fine. And then I've actually got a little block here to try to keep uh, from throwing the piece. So uh, wish me luck and I'll bring you back when, uh, when I'm done. Right now I've got a pretty good parallel line. I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. But i got a pretty good parallel line and I'm going to try to scotch it in just a fudge. But I can always finish grind that little bit off. Here's a little check in to show you. Get there. So we'll bring you back. Just a shot there to show you how the cut's going. We're getting close to 100,000 feet. Total parts 115,000. So I haven't thrown the part yet, and it doesn't seem to be getting really hot. Bring it back. Okay, we've gone about 105 thou deep, so we got about 10 thou left. I'm going to pull it off the mag, and you should be able to just snap that piece off. Piece never really got hot, and you can see our our slice there. So, let me uh, take it over the bench and see if we can snap it. Well, good news. It's snapped off. See, it's got a little teeny burr there at the top, which is fine. That'll just be touched off once I start grinding. So, uh, working right now, uh, setting it up for the... Uh, grinding vise so that we can go ahead and knock that burr off and get it to its final size. So I can't use my small two inch machine as, uh, machining vise here. It's got a groove here at the fixed jaw and the th ultra thin parallels drop down in there and just don't work for the, the size I have here. So I have this smaller grinding vise and uh, had it sitting up on parallels and uh, just going to clear just a little touch off and don't like this hanging out there like that but uh, I don't have a choice maybe I can get a little jack underneath there um, probably should see what I can set up for that okay got it supported with the uh, planer jack and uh, I think that's going to work out fine, give it some support. It's just a very, very minor grind that's going to happen there. Now over to the grinder. I will have to apologize, I don't have my tripod. So it's a little handheld, and uh, I have touched off on the uh, top there. See a couple little sparks. So that's the sliver that was left from my uh, slicing, and uh, I'm going to shut you off and bring you back. i got to get this done. If the part gets thrown, you're not going to get to see it. Well, I'm real happy how the part turned out. You can see the A on that one. That's the original. Mine's just a hair longer. 
could cut it off, but it really doesn't matter. And uh, we'll put it to the test here.